quality don't come cheap, Chun. Yeah, all right, Preem. Okay, confirmed. Appreciate you rounding up. Nah, I'm at the other end of town, but I'll swing by as soon as I can. Honey, you gotta tell me how you got to be you. It's like symbolic.
fugly as seafood barf. Hope it was expensive, at least. Something's gotta justify this level of tacky. straight from a catalog. Doubt Carrie picked this. Always ate out. Always. Okay. <laughs> Even I know that one. An oldie but a goodie. What's... Old single we put out. No idea why Carrie hoards shit like that. Never fade away. Guess if I had a fave, it'd be that one. What's... Second conflict. Carrie'd always go straight for kitsch with titles. Guess nothing's changed. Well, now I am impressed. Played a few of these myself back in our samurai days. Oh, beautiful butterfly carry emerging from his silky samurai chrysalis. Give him that one. Probably the only actual necessity in this whole pad. Bet he sits here and thinks, the fuck I need all this shit for?
Cracks like that run as many eddies? Forget it. We couldn't afford it. That's Carrie's fave. like he's showering. Alone, too. Good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. Drop one of Misty's special pills. Let's go. Okay. So much better. Now let's see which are up for show and which are actually strummable. Keep playing. Played enough. You know who I am. Johnny? Carrie? No. <laughs> no. That is some fucking joke. Hang on. What did Silverhand tell me before he died? Visit test. Could just play you another song. Answer me. Told you to leave Samurai. Go your own way. Clearly I was right, as I often am. Johnny fucking Silverhand. Fuck. I mean, how? Surprise. Motherfucker! Okay, weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh fucking contraire! Been waiting 50 years to do that. She so had changed a bit. Sporting a new style, trying to stay hip. Yeah, kinda. What about you? Shit. Johnny. Oh man, I need a drink. Alright, come on. Tell me. Why do you look like a small-time kleptopunk from the afterlife? This is V. You'd like him. The fuck, Donnie? Doesn't explain a thing. Nice place. Ain't seen much of it yet. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. Hmm. And who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Another pillar of society. Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all this time. Live here all by your lonesome? Nah, got my cook, Ariel, but he's off today. Miguel, what am I? Not your biz, June. Sit down, start talking. Steal yourself for a long story. I just really want it to be tragic. Sad as all fuck over all those years. Cause if I hear you spent them with the nomads, Open road, winning your hair, or cool and relaxed in orbit. And now you've just popped by to shit all over my life? Well, I'ma lose my damn mind. Listen, judge for yourself. Oh, fuck. Remember? The one damn time. Henry showed up sober and clean as a whistle. 
Uh-huh. And played absolute tripe. At least Danny was happy. Looking at him now, those really were the best of times. Playing fucking rat-infested dumps. Argued before every gig. Had no idea what we wanted to play, and never had Ned do our name. Nancy? Control freak. Henry smelled like zappers and piss. I was always stealing your pants. Hella good times, man. Still in touch with the gang. Just Nance. Changed her name to Bess Isis. Works for N54 News. Could track down Denny and Henry if you want. Maybe get together? You know, jam or something? Best Isis, damn, Nance really went for it. Though all I hear is part-time stripper with a thing for ancient Egypt. Shame you died. Sure she would have welcomed your input. How is she in general, besides having nothing to do with music? Could ask her yourself. Henry probably killed his own liver. Nah, would have hurt if he was gone. Got mutual friends. A few calls and I should be able to track him down. Denny might still be in the biz. Actually had talent. And the spine. Yeah, released something not too long ago. Moved to North Oak, too. You just she said you weren't in touch. Didn't hear it from her. I think she might be avoiding me. You ever leave this house? Nope. You want to bring Samurai back? Nah, no. Could do one gig, play some dive where nobody plays us. I mean, got my reputation to think about. But I won't have to explain what happened. All this. Nah, we'll spare him. Hella boring story. Biochips, Arasaka's evil schemes, magic pills. We'll just say you're my new input. All right, let's do it. Fuck yeah! Okay! Send you Nancy's number in a sec. I'll go after Henry and Denny. Hmm, I'm not there, figure it out with V. Sure, uh, you two get along? Not lately, no. We don't have much of a choice, though. How am I? Johnny, you okay? No. Ah, so you must be V. Johnny mentioned something like this might happen. I'll be fine. <laughs> that a hint of disapproval, I hear? Just sit tight for a bit. Rest. Don't worry about a thing. The hell is this concert thing? Did you hear that? Gets sharper as the pills wear off. So? Wanna see Samurai live? Probably won't get another chance. What if this ends up like the rogue thing? One big letdown. Nah, this is different. Carrie needs this concert. Okay, calling Nancy. Fuck yeah, nice. Uh, Nancy? Uh, I mean, the uh, best. Best Isis? No, this is her underpaid underappreciated assistant. Steven, N54 News, how can I help? Wanna to talk to Bess? She's not here. You know when she'll be back? She was supposed to be back two days ago. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff, story on Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. If anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Got a bad feeling, V. Think we better head to the Taunton tent.